Hello everyone, welcome back to another playthrough of Theme Park. Now I'm currently on my second park which is located in Australia. We're just getting started and this time we have like 1.8 million to start with. So we're really gonna try and structure this park correctly. Now here's what I have in mind. I'd like everybody to come through this middle section and basically go all the way to the top. And along the top, we're going to have our major two rides, which will be the rubber tubing and the roller coaster. They'll then kind of make a snake down to the bottom before exiting the park. So let's see if I can get this started. I'm going to start right away with a ton of money into research. Even at 10,000 per month, that's about 120,000 per year. Uh, we have 1.8 million, so that's tons. And I'm going to put uh, a lot of this into ride design. Maybe all into ride design. Uh, no, we'll do most into ride design. And let's do the rest into new shops designs. And we've, I've put it into slow. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a pause. Um, but we can get started on this puck. Okay, so eventually I'm going to have one track here. And I want five between each, uh, each path. So one, two, three, four, five. I believe most shops and rides are actually four. So that'll just give us a little bit of breathing room. And we'll do the same thing. Two, three, four, five. And we'll do a path off here. Now I'm going to see if I can get four in. Let's see if this works. One, two, three, four, five. Fill the path off here. And one, two, three, four, five. All right. So this is where the final path is going to be. We're going to create a nice big uh, path through the middle to handle all the crowds. And you know what? I'm just going to slow down the right development a little bit. I don't want us to like miss any uh we can put a little bit into facilities that will be super important all right so let's continue building it down and for now i'm just gonna focus the puck on one side and we'll see if we need the other side because we're focusing on one side you know what i need that rubber tubing so uh hopefully we get it pretty fast I'd like to have the rubber tubing ride right here. And then we're going to have lots of these for sure. Now this one, they will only be able to exit. And do I actually want them to exit? Not really. So I'm going to actually build it over here. We're going to cut them off. So basically they'll be going around here and then down to here what does it say my technology is great all right that's fine oh and before i forget let's buy up our stock i'm gonna buy them all i want to own my own self and nothing else is really a bargain so we're not gonna bother all right we have a plane flyer we have Snakes and ladders, clown axe, big time fries, Coca Cola, novelty shop. <laughs> I wish we could just view all of these at once. It's kind of annoying. Um, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. So again, the snake around here. Oh, I haven't planned that out very well, have I? Okay, they're gonna go here. Around here, go up towards here, and then go up here like this. Does that make sense? So in that case, I should have stopped my rubber tubing one early. Did I plan that out right? Okay, so they're gonna, we'll do it kind of in reverse. So going out here, connecting here, up here, around, back, up here. And 
we don't really want now it's getting a little bit too long and it's already a ton of tears. So I think we can end it here, actually. This will be our connection to the main area. I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, we don't need any of this. All right, let's see if this works. Yes, that's what I want. This is what I want, and I want them to start with this. Okay, so the ride lineup is gonna be here. Here's gonna be the actual park thing, and we'll do it like this. And we're gonna try and build like straight up. So I am, but I'm only, I don't wanna take up too much space at the bottom here. Let's do something like this. We can kind of build our way up. And then, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five. So we can start building out here a little bit. Because there's going to be shops uh, here. So we can definitely snake it a little bit. And I'm basically just going to snake it all the way up. Uh, should I do... Like, bi-directional? It's gonna be kind of annoying to build. Let's not do that. Let's just do it like this. I have no idea which way the ride is gonna be. Uh, like which direction they're gonna go in. But I don't think it really matters. And then this one will connect this way. Okay. I really wish I could put this game on even slower mode. But we can't. So we'll just let it flash at us for a bit. It's fine, chill. Man, a year went by already? Are you sure this is like the slowest speed? Jeez. I'm gonna build my bide still. We'll make sure that they're super happy. Because they're gonna go through this. Very long ride. And you know what? Let's cut it off here for now. And we'll see. We can always extend it uh, more after. So I'm going to build rubber tubing. I'm going to put my entrance here. My exit there. Okay. And then we'll just do a little bit of shops. Um, I want to do the most expensive ones first. So we're going to have the saloon right next to it. Um, and... I'm basically going to build... I'll build my path right now. So basically, I want this to go all the way to the end. And they can turn around. And it'll connect back here. And for now, we'll just let them connect back and we can slowly build our loop. I really want to get the puck open before I spend through that 1.8 million. All right, let's do it this way. And I'm just going to check my stock. Let's increase our warehouse size. Uh, we didn't get a ton, but that's okay. Uh, so, size is 140. I have 15 stock, so let's do 90 all around. Okay, we'll just order 90 of everything. I don't want to run out. Okay, we'll do this. Um, let's put in Tin Can Alley. No, let's put in Toyland. I want them to spend a lot. Okay, the markup of this is 45. And the markup of this is less. I wouldn't have expected that. But let's put the novelty shop. We're going to bump up the price a ton. Actually, let's not worry about that first. Um, and then I want to put in the... I would actually like to put in the steakhouse. Uh, let's go ahead and open the puck. Puck open! Okay, what's it flashing at me for? Okay, we got tons of rides. We will put in other rides, but I want them to get um, the roller coaster fairly near. Um, let's also hire this guy. Now, there's going to be probably a ton of 
trash in the middle here. So let's see if we can get him to cover this whole section. Uh, okay, perfect. You do that. And then we'll get a separate guy to do this section. I see your path. Okay, if you could do from here to here and go ahead and cover that edge as well. Oh yeah, you could do one loop. Might get more than one handyman on that, but I think that's fine. For now. Alright. Um... I think we definitely need a maintenance guy right away. And I'd actually like to... Decrease the speed on that. And let's make him uh, repair it faster. Alright. So with the observatory... We're definitely going to add more rides, but not quite yet. Okay. I think you're being too generous to your ticket prices. Really? I only have one ride, but... Alright. Um... And I want them to... Go to the saloon. We'll up the price there a little bit. Okay, nobody's going out. People are just, uh... Going for the ride and then leaving. So that's not the greatest. Uh, let's put some signage. For sure we want them to know... Where this is. So I'm gonna put this right at the entrance. And I'm also gonna put one of these at the entrance. And let's go ahead and put this as well. Just so they know where everything is. Actually, I'm gonna put it here. Okay. So, my safety record is excellent. Popularity is poor. Technology of rides is excellent. Ride complement is bad. I know. People in the park think it's okay. And this is the longest tubing ride in the world. Let's see what the shares are like. Any good deals? Not really. Okay. Uh, steak restaurant. This is what I was waiting for. So good. Alright, let's put the steak restaurant here. And let's up the fat so it's delicious. And let's raise the price as well. And I am going to... Oh. We are also going to say this is unidirectional. Alright. Um, probably I need to order a bunch of steak. Let's increase my warehouse size. And 180 minus 50 is 130. Okay, so let's order some of that. Uh, we'll send some order for some ice cream and fries as well, even though I don't actually have them. Okay, and then right here, I'd love to put the roller coaster as soon as we have it. So we've gotten the easy stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and adjust our research and really focus on ride design. Because I do want to improve some things. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hire a single security guard as well. Alright. Uh, and... Let's put a signpost. I wonder if this park design is gonna pay off. We'll see. Um, we'll see. They may be having to walk too far into it. Perhaps it would have been better to funnel them from the bottom. But the problem with funneling, the, funneling them from the bottom is that trying to get them to the right first makes it kind of difficult with the rubber tubing in terms of where to place it. So, nobody's going down here though. I think we need to put a ride over here. Um, oh, roller coaster. That's what I want. Can I place this first? Can. Okay. So, I'm gonna place this here. You do need some space for the roller coaster in terms of the queue. Um, and we are also gonna take up some 
Boom, not a ton. Um, I'm gonna focus the track going right up towards the rubber tubing. Um, and again, with all these track base rides, it's really best to uh, make them as long as possible. Um, that's gonna increase people's enjoyment of it. The longer they're on the ride, the more they love it. And let's try and get uh, the staff 4.2. That's pretty good. Okay. Again, I have no idea um, which direction the ride will go. So we're just going to have to build it for both directions. Um, and I'm going to try and make this depot a smart way so that he gets thrown off the ride. That's never good. Um, and the car length is of a certain length, so I don't want too many twists and turns. Lest we do something unpleasant. Right. To build this up. And that may not have been the best idea. Um, because... Depends again on which direction the coaster is going. Don't want the steep part going too, uh, down near the end. So that in case it's here, they have time to, uh, slow down before they get around the bend. As you can see, I'm not the greatest at building roller coasters, so whatever, this is fine. Uh, let's just raise this like crazy. Why not? Okay. Let's do it that way. Um, that's fine. And... Um, let's see the most indirect exit path we can get. Because I want to save a lot of this space for them getting in the line. Um, let's do it this way. How about that? And it's open. Please come see my roller coaster. Thanks. Okay. So hopefully, at least now, in order to get to the roller coaster, they are moving across, which is what we want. And along the way, they're going to visit the steak restaurant, the saloon. The novelty shop. Um, apparently they thought the novelty shop was a little pricey. So we'll just reduce the price of that. I'm gonna check my stock. I can increase my warehouse size. A little. Not a ton. Uh, we'll work on that. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now what happens if they miss this rubber tubing? Because it wasn't enough space. So we're gonna do another rubber tubing ride and unfortunately i would actually love to do another roller coaster but i'm not sure if i have the space let's go ahead and place it again i'm worried that if the ride is full um can i do a roller coaster like back to back like i could do one here like that it's gonna be so weird guys okay can i it's gonna be like a That's okay. Okay. Because once we're here, we can wrap around into the other roller coaster. Right? And tuck it away behind here. And the rubber tubing can do the same. Uh, so we can have a rubber tubing right here. And we can build load of a track. It's gonna be a weird track. But we can do this. Barely enough. Okay. I kind of just set up a little thing. Um, I think that we could, at this point, put in a game. So the attractiveness is good. Is there anything? Okay, this one's quite good. Is good better or quite good better? That I'm not sure. Good? Quite good. 
Not sure. Good, I think, is better, right? Um. Yes, I know I need more rights. Um. Really have no idea. I'm gonna put the good one. And then let's adjust the odds a little. So 120, your odds of winning are 5%. So to break even, we should be at 60. This is at 90. I think that's just fine. Alright. Let's put in some other rides. Uh, because my ride complement was apparently bad. Um, I want an exciting ride. Is there like a medieval one somewhere? Maybe we don't have it yet. Um, again, I'm not sure which one is good. Good or quite good. Uh, top notch. Pat poor, excellent. Uh, let's get... Let's get this. This is nice because it has such a large capacity. Um, and I am gonna build... This thing here first. And let's let them exit. And don't bother going one direction. All right. Let's do it this way. At least they have a few more rides. How are we doing? Ooh, more than 50% are happy. They're a little hungry. I get that. I think we need to give them some cheaper options for food and drink. So we're going to put a burger place next. Um, and a drink place next to it. I'm almost wondering if I should tuck it behind here. Because they'll walk up, won't they? They really want it. Um, okay, let's make it, again, a ton of fat. Um, we'll make it delicious. And Poke Cola. I think an average amount of ice is good. You want it cold and you want to give them value, right? They're not really going up there. I might need to tell them, hey, drinks are over there. Okay, and I'd like to put an ice cream place as well. Because why not? Uh, we'll make it super sweet so it's delicious. And let's jack up the price a little bit. Okay, let's get some more warehouse space. And let's get some steaks in. Some beer. A little bit of fries. A little bit of ice cream. Alright. Ooh, look at that happy face. So happy. Okay. Hey kid, you're going the wrong way. How did you even get over here? Okay. Too expensive? What did you guys think was too expensive? This one? It's not really that expensive, it's only 150. I think that's expensive? Fine. What about 145? Is that better? Uh, they thought the novelty shop was too expensive. <laughs> Admittedly, that one's quite pricey. Okay. So this is definitely a less rich market than the UK. Where people were buying at all sorts of insane prices that I agree are ridiculous. Um, so let's, let's knock it down a little bit can't quite charge as much as I used to. Um, okay, so the roller coaster is definitely going. Let's... Um, I'm personally more of a fan of the rubber tubing, even though I'm aware that it doesn't provide the best value. That's alright. Um, let's put this here and here. Alright. Four rides! And I think we can charge a little bit more for entrance. Alright, in the meantime, let's uh, build out some of these extra rides. So these are intended for people who 
um, tried to join the first bide and uh, the queue was full. Alright. So basically, we're gonna let the roller coaster get the vest. And this one is gonna snake all the way to the end. And because the snake is quite narrow, we may need to really go to the end. Yeah, stop flashing at me. See you. Alright. And we'll be able to see how much this was needed. But how many people actually do the ride? Because I believe that... Um, they will never go on a ride twice. So... We'll be able to see for sure. If people are going on the second ride, it means that they weren't able to go on the first one. So there's a couple of people going, not a ton, which is good. We really wanted them to get in uh, the first time. Alright, so I'm losing money still, probably because I'm spending so much money. Um, but the place is clean. Um, the research is going. Let's look at our research. Oh, good negotiation. You really gonna stall at 20%? Come on. Oh, shoot. That was my bad. Okay. Um, we have most of the ride designs. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. I would really like to get more warehouse space. So let's focus on that. Um, and actually, I'm just gonna lower it slightly and put a little bit on upgrading the right designs. Like, not much. And a little bit on staff training. And why not? A little bit here as well. Okay. Yes, Medieval Axe. I was hoping for that. Um, okay. All these things are too expensive. I don't really think they're that expensive. Just saying. Okay, so this goods negotiation is much tougher because... They know that you have to, uh... Pay it no matter what, right? Can't survive without any goods. Okay, admittedly, maybe I raised the burger prices a little bit too much. Uh, I'm used to those rich UK people, but this is a different crowd. <laughs> All right. Um, so, is everyone pretty happy? Like, that's a very high percentage of happy. Although down here, a lot of people are also hungry. So... You think it's too expensive? That was actually pretty good. Now, we did say that we could... Oh, okay, 50 people have bought, but I'd like it to be a whole lot more. Um... A lot of people think that this is expensive. Oh, I think when my good prices went up, all my prices went up as well. Which is why everybody's freaking out about how expensive everything is. So I'm just gonna try and take like a lower cut in order to get people to actually buy things. Tough market, Australia. Okay, see, at least now they're going in. There's no point in, like, having this store if nobody buys. Okay, we do need to order stock as well. Let's get a nice warehouse increase. Get a few orders. Definitely a much harder market than the UK. 
All right. Um, the advisor hasn't said anything, but I really think that we can raise our ticket prices. And if we don't, I don't think we can. Ooh, this is fun. It's cute. Um, I think we should get another ride. I want to get the um, medieval axe. Do it like this. This is not the best. I'd actually like him to exit around here. <laughs> Ooh. Not quite what I wanted. Okay. Um Okay. I want people on this path to keep walking forward. Um, and I want people on this path to walk down. See if they actually obey this. Um, I actually like them to do this. To walk down, left, and then around. We'll see if anybody actually obeys those signs. <sighs> like, not this kid. This kid's like, screw it, buddy. Okay, are you happy? Incredibly happy. Hey. Okay, let's watch people's, uh... See, people are going, like, the wrong direction. They're going everywhere. I hate it when they do that. Uh, okay, popularity is doing better. People in the park think it's great. My safety record is average? Oh, I guess I only have one mechanic. I should probably get another. I'm gonna put more of these kinds of signs to try and get people flowing in one direction. I know not everybody obeys, but it's really easy on me if they would go one way. Thanks. Okay, what do you guys think is expensive? Man, you guys think everything's expensive. Okay, lots of people are going in here. A couple of people think it's expensive, but that's not so bad. Uh, a number of people are buying from the novelty shop. I guess as long as they're buying, it's not too expensive. Okay, people really think this one's expensive. So let's lower the price and see if more people buy. Like, they're just bypassing this one. But my profit margin is not that high. It's really not. And they all think it's too expensive? Man, you guys suck. I'm making $20. And I have to manage my inventory and all that. I'm really not making that much, guys. A tough customers. Very tough. Like, the cola drinks at least are doing well. Looks like the cheaper ones are doing better. Um... Which... I suppose... Okay, a couple of people are buying this. Um, and then they're coming here. They're all thinking it's too expensive though. I really don't think it's that expensive, guys. I need to make some money, you know? And then this way, I don't think I'm going to be making any money at all. Okay. Um, we're going to raise the ticket price because I think we'll really need to depend on it. And I actually have a ton of rides in here. And then I am going... Okay, they think that this one is too expensive. I'm only making $15 though. Like, that's really not very much. Alright. Let's, um... It's the 2nd of March. Let's see if we make any money. So we're at 870. I want to see if I'm actually making money or if I'm losing. Because it's hard to tell when you keep buying things. <sighs> Man. Uh, six, yeah, I'm not making that much, guys. I'm really not. 
But they all think it's so expensive that they refuse to buy it. Like, I need more of them to buy. I don't know. What, make $10? really can't make any less than $10, guys. Like... That is not much at all. Okay, um, I'll put it to a $10 profit. Which is hardly anything. But if you guys keep complaining that it's expensive, like, I can't... I can't, you know? Okay, I like how all you guys are ignoring my signs, or maybe I forgot to put them up. Okay, what do you guys think is expensive? A lot of people are going to the novelty shop. So, I guess that's fine, like 381. Uh, 60 people, not a ton. I refuse to make less than 20 on that though. Ooh. It's the warehouse size. Okay. Oh, and people cannot find the exit. It's fair. Let's point them towards the exit. And uh, we'll go like this. Exit! That way! Even pointing towards the exit? Both do. Okay. Uh, what are we even researching? I have no idea. Um, do I need more vibe designs? I don't think I do. Um, I would love to get... Better vibes. More warehouse. I don't think I need more warehouses here. Maybe I could get some, you know, bathrooms and stuff. It would be nice to get some staff training. Oh, oops. Okay, let's put in, like, some. Let's put in 2,000. Let's put in 1,000 on ride designs. A little bit on staff training. Some on new features. And... The rest can go into ride design. Let's do that. Okay, are peeps happy? Less happy than they were before. How's my bank balance? I totally like spaced on that. I have no idea how much I made. The bank balance did go up, which is good. Um, it's hard to tell though, because you're not um placing orders, right? Inflation is... I paid too much for those goods. I can't screw up on that negotiation again. Because that made a huge difference. Why is everybody saying it's so expensive? It's not. The burgers? I'm only making $10. That is not that much, guys. One of my little people is stuck. Are they really? Um, it would be nice if we could get some super nice bathrooms. Okay, let's wait for... June. I'm just gonna increase the speed slightly. Okay, we'll wait for... Sorry, for August. And then see... How much we make in August. Okay, it is August 1st and we're at 8.30. I think that's saying I made 15,000, which is not great, but I guess it's fine. Um, okay, let's get to the end.
end of August and see where we end up. Okay, we're just about reaching September. So we were at 8.30. And now for September 1st, we're at 8.45. Okay, so we're making about 15,000, which is fine. I would love to know how much that... Oh yeah, okay, you can see that. I would want to know how much am I getting in terms of like shops versus the gates. So right now they're actually almost the same. Um, I'm gonna raise the gate prices and see if that affects things too much. Lots of people are still paying to get in so I think that's fine. I think the advisor's not telling me anything. So we'll see if this causes people to leave. But I think that should be fine. Where are these people coming from? And can you not? Just randomly wandering. I want to see when the next bus comes. If like any people go away or do most people just go in and pay the price. Okay, they seem to be just going in. Just fine. Um, and let's see. Ooh. So we're selling lots of beer. Apparently that one is well priced. Or increase the price a little. Probably not making that much. Ah, making more than the rest. Put it at 145. Okay, I think as the years go on, inflation increases and they kind of become okay with the prices. <sighs> so we'll see. This is definitely one park where I don't really need more warehouse space, unlike the UK. You can definitely see the change in difficulty level um, because of this, which is super interesting. No, they have not. Where's the little person stuck? I don't see anybody. Okay. Safety is good. Popularity is good. Technology is excellent. Compliment is poor. Really? I have a lot of rides, I thought. Okay, that's excellent. So the longest. Wonderful. Alright. And by the way, I have no idea what the... Uh, Passing requirements are for Australia and what it unlocks. Probably should check that. I haven't. Uh, have a lot of people been playing? 185. Let's uh, up that a little bit. And let's see if anything is running out of stock at all. Ice cream is a little bit. Not a ton. But a five shouldn't be because I don't even have a five stand. Those burgers don't sell too well. The steaks are selling, sort of. Not fast. They're selling. Look at that. Beer is going like crazy. It's interesting. Very interesting to see. At least they're somewhat happy. Like a lot of people are happy. And there's very few dissatisfied people. A lot of people are neutral. I'm surprised they think I need more rides because like... feel like I have a lot? I'm not sure if it's really justified. Like if I build more rides... Would people come? Okay. Staff negotiation. Let's not make the same mistake as last time. Um, okay, 6%. Not great, but I also don't have that many staff, so whatever. Okay, you think I could charge more? I would love to charge more. Um, and then maybe I'll build additional rides. Is there anything that... Makes sense to build. 
to anything that's at the good level. Like, not really. There's a couple of very good items. Might end up building that. A save, by the way. Um. Oh. Let's go to normal before we build anything. I mean, yeah, I guess I could build like a balloon shop here. People would probably appreciate that. Um, uh, and let's build... Do I already have a big wheel? I think I do, right? I think I have all the ones that are, like, good. Um... I mean, this is quite good. That sounds... Okay... Constantly doing that. Okay. I am going to make you guys go all the way around. And now you see my grand design. Little snake. I don't know that I would choose this design again if I were to build my next perk. I think maybe it would be better to have the right complement at the like right side and left side. And then just funnel them in uh, from the bottom instead of the top. Anyway. Okay, as in like, go down, go down, thank you. Uh, handyman, can you come now? Thanks. Okay, let's see what is selling. Beer, as usual, is selling great. I think that means I should raise the price of beer. Okay, seriously, where is the handyman? Handyman, do I need to hire more mechanics? Sorry, you saying handyman? I met mechanic. This one, please, now. The thing has been on the fits for ages. Lots of trash? I wouldn't really say there's that much trash. But admittedly, I should probably hire more handymen. Uh, where is my handyman guy? Handyman guy? Where are you? See? Okay. Oh, X this. I want you to do this. I actually really only wanted him to... Like, I didn't want that. But it seems impossible not to tell him to do that. Maybe if I just got you to do half? Will that help? Yeah, I only wanted you to do this. Really all along, but... Can you really help? And then let's... Okay, I would love for you... To take it from halfway here uh i do need him to go here and then here okay perfect okay and we did build a ride so i'm just gonna increase my ticket price nine thousand my roller coaster is getting old is it though Is it? Is it really? What are you guys complaining is too expensive now? Flash at me. Oh, we don't have fries yet. Let's see if we can sell some fries.
Yum. That will make it super... Um, you think it's too expensive? Like the default price. What's it like in a poor nation? Like you make no money, right? I haven't sold any. Suck. It's not that expensive. Okay, I'm only making five dollars. Get my price. Are you serious? I believe they think it's too expensive. How much do these kids have anyway, by this point? Boy in jeans, how much money do you have? $44? That's all he has? What about somebody who just came in? Can't tell if he just came in or... $207. Now the UK guys had like... $2,000. By comparison. He's been in the pot ages. He has like nine bucks. Okay. So to be fair, they actually don't have any money. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I think these people just came. It's time to go home. Okay. So unlikely that she has had a chance to do any anything. She only came in with $205. No wonder they can't afford my prices. Maybe I should get rid of the steakhouse then. Like, they can't afford it. They literally have no money. Okay, so you just came and you only have $200. So basically, you buy this and... It's 150 and that's all you can afford. Oh, I get it. So really, I planned this all wrong for this market. Because they only come in with like $200. So they can really only afford, like, the burgers. That's all they can afford. I think we can increase the prices on these. But, like, let's get rid of... So the reason they like the saloon is not because they like the saloon. It's because it's the first place they come across. Okay, I get it. I understand this market better. Um, I'm going to build the fireplace here as the first place. And I'm going to charge a reasonable price for it. And then I'm going to replace it with the drink place. And I'm going to charge a reasonable price for it. Okay, so now they're going because they can afford it. Even the novelty shop, like, can they afford that? Is there a cheaper one? No, that's even more expensive. I want... Like, maybe it makes more sense to have the balloon wall and not this. Right? Yeah, they can't afford the novelty shop. Let's get rid of it. They can't afford it. get them the balloon shop. They'll be happy with it. They'll start complaining about how expensive everything is. I think I can jack up the prices. But at least this way they can afford it. Okay. So the key to this market is not that they think it's a bad value. They don't have the cash. So I don't think there's any point later on in having all this pokey cola and stuff. Like there's no point, they can't afford it. So, they can maybe afford the burger place. And the ice cream place, maybe, maybe not. Um, but at least now I can charge like a better profit margin. Because before I thought my profit margins were too high. Um, but it was really that they don't have the money. That was the problem all along. Um, I kind of want to not... Actually, I changed my mind. I don't like this balloon place. I want them to spend their money on eats and drinks first. And then at the end, they can spend the remaining money on a balloon if they have the money. I think that makes the most sense. And there's no way they can afford the fries by the time they get here. 
So it's not even... Like you don't need it. They can't afford it. So I think here... Oh, and it's probably because my pr ticket prices are so high. Is that why? Because when they first arrive, they probably need to immediately spend the money on the rides. And then they don't have any extra money. So here, it's an interesting market because there's no point in putting in too many rides because they can't afford the entrance fee. Very interesting, actually. Okay, at least I got a lot of 10,000s. Okay, so that was a good learning experience. Um, I'd love to see some of the peeps when they first get here, but I think actually tracking them will be quite difficult. Okay, at least this, they're not complaining so much about like, too expensive, too expensive. Um, and I can make a little bit of money. Some of them are still complaining it's too expensive. Um, home time. So I get that. Okay, so you just got off the ride. Been here a little while, and you have 200 bucks. Tough market. Very tough market. Okay. So then you get a drink. Like, I really need to. I'd rather than pay a ton for this. And then not be able to afford anything else. You know what I mean? Isn't there a handy man who's supposed to be cleaning this? Where is he? Um, oh, the tin can alley? They can't afford it. Okay. So now we're going to see more people getting fries. Because that's the first thing. And then they spent all the money on fries and cola. And they can't afford anything else. Excuse me. Excuse me. That means there's no point in raising my entrance either. Or just give them less money to spend. So basically this pa park is maxed out. Um, there's actually no point in spending much more money. Because... That's it. Now let's see what we make in this month. Only 3,000. Really not that much. Um, okay. So again, 200 bucks. After the entrance fee, they only have... $200. So I might as well just close down some of the rides. I'm certainly not going to build anymore. Um, it might mean that some of these guys are less happy. I'm definitely not going to uh, redo that roller coaster because that wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be economical. I almost feel like restarting this level because I feel like I learned so much. Um, 4.5, that's fine. Not too bad. Love this rubber tubing, by the way. So yeah, there's not even any point. Like, after they go here, they might as well just go back. Because it doesn't even matter. Okay. I think that's how the kids are feeling too. 274. I wonder if I increase my park prices to like super high. Um, if when they come in, yeah, now they have fifty-four dollars. That's no point. I mean, I could, but they really have nothing to spend, and then they'll just be unhappy because they can't afford to buy anything. 
I might as well reduce the prices. Pretty interesting. That means it'll be even worse in the poor nations. You can really only afford a small theme park. And that's about it. Not too many rides, they can't afford it. Um, the other thing you would probably want to do... to maybe I should close my park right now. I'm kind of interested to see... Actually, no, never mind. <sighs> okay, let's see how much we make in May. See, already they're like, oh, I can't afford anything. I didn't raise prices that much. Okay, how much did I make? 9,000? Is there even any point in, like, continuing this particular park? I don't think I can even get to the 1.8 million. I don't know how much this park is worth. Um... But like, this is not a park where at the end of the UK, we were raking it in. Here? No. I think probably in the next episode, I'm just gonna close this park. Uh, maybe we'll try a poor nation just to see what it's like. But I think really it makes more sense to go to somewhere like the States. Uh, where we can charge a bunch and really build out like a super cool park. Because at this point, like, there's no point in picking, uh, getting a bigger puck. And then you'll never make them super happy. Because they can't afford food. It's too expensive for them. Although, that's a lot of happy peeps. A lot. Actually, really impressive. I mean, yeah, by the time they go home, they have no money. Ah, oh, this kid has 50 bucks. 57. Okay, so there's still money to be had. Not a lot of money. There's money to be had. Uh, surprisingly, the burgers are not doing too badly. $41. Could afford an ice cream. It's exactly 41 and he's gonna get it. So I think this kid is like broke now. I don't know if that was the same kid. Alright, let's, um, in that case, run the game fast and just rake in a little bit. I don't know what the puck value is. We'll see whether maybe we should sell it at the end of the year. I wish I knew what the goal of this level was. To check that. Yes, yes, the roller coaster is old. I get it. It's not worth replacing it though. If I got rid of it, I would just get rid of it. I mean, unless it's so dangerous that, like, really nobody should be on it. But yeah, what are we researching? Like, I don't know that it's even worth it to put anything in. Let's just get rid of this. Research. There's no point. Let's see if we can at least get a nicer bathroom. No, I guess I should probably put in some outhouses because I don't have any. Um, but yeah. The peeps that need it can go. And that's it. 8,000. Okay. At least we're at 1 million. That's a healthy bank balance. Do you think this puck will be able to sell for 2 million though? Like, we exited UK with 3 million. I don't think that this puck is worth that much. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, let's see. 
My bank balance is 1 million. That's great. The park value is... It's gone down? Really? Kind of annoying. I wonder if we can make some money on the stock market. Oh yeah, we can. Buy this guy out. 10 bucks? Ooh, five. Buy this guy out. Maybe that's where we can make our money. There are little stocks. Uh, I'm interested in this 20, but... I wonder if it'll go even lower. Well, let's get this guy too. Okay, now we own a ton. We still have over a million in the bank, so it didn't really cost us that much. See where we get to. I already forgot how much I paid though. <laughs> uh, I guess one we only got at 20, didn't we? Or was it 21? No. Oh. Okay, let's let it run. Yes, I know. The roller coaster we should get rid of it. it up. Ultra! Oh, I don't think. I don't think this game runs well on Ultra. Let's go back to fast. <laughs> that was a bad idea. See, none of these have really changed in value. Do I really have to wait till next year? Ah. <sighs> I mean, right now this park is basically running on autopilot. You don't even really need to stock stuff that much because they're not selling. <laughs> Uh, there's no point in me ordering more, like, more warehouse space. We're not going through our inventory fast enough. Uh, I think it just said that- ooh, staff negotiation. Not that you have that much staff. But, you should always aim to pay as little as possible. Ten, not great. But, I guess it could be worse. How much money money we make. And let's see if any of these went up in value. They really did not. They didn't change at all. Do they really only change on the beginning of the year? Kind of annoying. Okay, August. Let's see what we made. We lost money? A lot of money. 37,000? A lot. Oh, because we bought, um, filled up our warehouse. That's why. But if we can't handle that, that's. Wait. Lost eight there. I mean, then like the previous profits are kind of fake because you're really just selling inventory that you bought previously, right? Makes it hard to tell whether you're turning a profit or not. Twelve thousand. I mean, yeah. You're also selling a lot though. Guess I should be making more frequent orders. Let's see if I can sell any stock. Yep. No. All right. Let's see what happens here. I might play one more year and then I'm gonna get rid of this puck. It is not a profitable venture. And that's because really I spent too much money on it, and I really should not have. Oh, see? My park value is like devaluing. Why is the park value so low? Oh, because everything's uh... 
Everything's getting older, is that why? Why some of this? Oh, it went down. Oh, everything went down. Wait. All the things that I own went basically bust. Pockets open, I get that. Which the fireworks are expensive though, hey? Um Go to the wall map? What'd that do? Okay. Now I'm just gonna sell at the end of the uh unfortunate that you can only sell like once per year and once per year comes around so fast when you're building rides and so slowly otherwise <laughs> might as well get rid of all my access stock why not i'm not gonna need it i don't know if it gets liquidated when you sell the puck People are super happy. I wonder how much, like, how much was this ride? How about tubing? Um, my ride cost was 5,000. Is that true? How much was this ride cost? 11,000. Oh, and why do you only have four people? Four or seven. Get more people. Oh, I didn't realize it was doing that. Okay, August. We're almost there, guys. I hope you guys have no money left, by the way. 110. Yeah. Seven. Not terrible. I know it's possible to even get, like, a decrease in cost, but... I think I need to work on my negotiation skills. How much did I make? 11? Not terrible. Any stocks that I can sell? No? Okay... Okay. December. At the end of this, we're totally selling the puck. I mean, I got to 1.2 million, which I guess is fine. Got some stuff here. Uh, yeah, 376. The value is going down every year. Let's see how much. I thought you said 376. Is that half a million? Good. Get more, more, more. See how high it goes. Come on, let's go get this. 
I think I lost money in this venture though. So I'm curious. Okay, Australia. So if it's blue, does that mean that you like successfully did it? I think so. Okay, where should we go next? Should we go um a rich place or a poor place? I think we've learned a lot about how to set up something in a poor place. So that might be interesting. Or we could go to a super rich place. Oh no. What should I consider poor? Uh, no, I can't go to these places anyway. This is a rich place, Scandinavia. Difficulty easy. I feel like I should challenge myself. Or maybe we could do like a medium place and kind of compact it. No, let's try a poor place. I think let's try a different kind of thing. Nigeria, I'm surprised, is medium. Medium, interesting. Let's try, like, oh no, that's rich. Let's try Yakutsk. Okay. Whoa, the inflation rate is 71%. That is insane. Okay, should we try this? So the first thing we'll do for this time is see how much money people have, and then we can build it up. But this is very interesting. Let's, um, let's buy land here. I think this should be interesting. All right, and I'm gonna quickly slow it down and end it here. But the next time I come back, I'm gonna try a poor country and see what I can learn from it. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're enjoying Theme Park, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.